I'm not going to keep your attention for a long time, just a few minutes, because I know that you, the person you, you want to listen to is Mr. Glover, myself. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to talk about biotechnology, the biotechnology industry here in Japan, and my experience in this industry. I'm originally a biologist, a biologist that did a, a master and a PhD here in Japan. I came from, from Mexico 10 years ago. And I did my master and my PhD here, and then after getting out of the ivory tower, I was out in the wild west, I mean it's wild east in this case. And uh, I wanted to do something related to biotech, biotechnology, but more related to business, more related to marketing, to management. And it was quite difficult to find a job or position in this area with a PhD. So I decided to start an MBA. To, to educate myself in business, and I started the MBA at this, this very good university, Anaheim University. And the biotech is a very, very special, very uh, unique uh, industry. It's a very young industry, for example, compared to the car industry. The, the, in the case of the car industry, the first mass-produced uh, product was produced maybe in 1912 with the T, T model. In our case, in the case of the biotech, the first mass-produced product was produced in 1982. It was the insulin, human insulin, produced pure human insulin. That was the first biotech product in the world. So uh, this is a very, young, a very young industry, and at the same time, it's a very, very complex. Why? Because usually, the traditional industry, like car industry, electronic industries, whatever, or any, any industry, they usually use uh, physical, chemical, or mechanical principles to produce a product. In the case of biotech, we use DNA, RNA, proteins, enzymes, very, very teeny, tiny molecules to produce a product. So the, the industry is using a very, very complex technology to produce very, very complex products. So what we have here is an industry full of excellent, very good scientists, excellent technologies, but lacking a lot of good businessmen. Usually the people that, that are businessmen in the industry, managers or marketers, they usually come from a different industry. And they come here and they don't understand the difference between RNA and DNA. They don't know, they don't know what the product is for. They don't understand what the competitors are doing. They don't know, they don't understand what uh, the customer is telling them, the feedback from the customers, they don't know. So it, they, they have a very difficult time to promote a product, to plan a strategy or something, because they just know them, they, they just don't know the market, they just don't know the, um, the products. So what I'm going to suggest here is that we need to educate scientists to give them business education. And then we will have managers with background in science and also with business formation. It's easier, I believe, it's easier to transform or to convert a scientist into a businessman than the opposite, a businessman into the science. You know, you know the, the Six Sigma uh, mantra, analyze your data, believe in your data, don't believe in your heart, believe in your data, <laughs> and uh, always trust your data. And who else better to analyze data than, uh, than, a, than a scientist? So it's not a difficult task. I believe that from now on, scientists in Japan will be more willing to do uh, business studies. And I believe that Anaheim University will be keeping the role, will be keeping the, the, the leadership, because it's a pioneer and it's a leader here in Japan. So for sure, Japan will be better. And for sure, uh, uh, Anaheim University will, will make a very, very good role in that. And that's all. Thank you.